the weather soon. Welcome back. Governor Holcomb made the tough decision last week to close all Indiana schools for the rest of the school year. Thousands of Hoosier students will have to continue, though, learning remotely and will not go back to the classroom until August. Avon teacher Julie Stevens joining us now on the phone this morning. A good morning to you, Julie. What grade do you teach and specifically where? I teach, uh, good morning, I teach first grade at Maple Elementary in Avon School District. I'm just curious, how's it been going so far with your students and, and with yourself? Um, overall, I would say it's going pretty well for, for us out here in Avon. Um, we've made adjustments based on student and parent feedback, and we had a little bit longer to do the e-learning since we were one of the, we were, I think, the first school to go to e-learning. So what sort of tips would you want to give, whether it's to parents or to students or even other teachers, now that you guys are doing something that's somewhat new, at least on a consistent basis? Um, for my tips for teachers would be to use some sort of online conferencing tool with, to meet your, with your students because they need to see you and they need to see each other. And then for uh, parents, I would say if you, if you have questions or you're stuck on something, don't be afraid to reach out to your child's teacher. We're still here for you. Now, is this a situation where a parent can be in the background and start chiming in? Or are you trying to keep that, you know, a little bit more relegated to, I guess you would almost call it like a one-on-one -on -one with your students, even though they're a bunch of students? Um, you know, it's funny. I've gotten to uh, say hi to parents and also to everyone's pets on the online conferencing tool. But for the most part, it's just the, the students um, meeting with me online. I'm just curious, how have things really, you know, changed for you guys? What's the rest of the school year look like? Stuff like that. Well, we've been flipping our classroom to an online classroom with little to no warning. So that's been a really big job for us. And it, it, it means a lot more hours go into preparing than it would to actually teach in a, during a regular classroom day. So that's been a, just an adjustment in trying to think through what that's going to look like and how to make that work in an online format. Final question, what has been the reaction from your students? We hear about this all the time, but I'm just curious, how are students taking all this? They're, um, my first graders are pretty sad to not be, to not be back in the classroom, and, but they, they've been so excited when we Zoom meet, so they, they don't want to miss that. They get really excited to see me and see each other, and I think they've even figured out how to do that online, the messaging, which um, that's, yes, that's, it's fun for them, the technology and getting to use that. All right, Julie Stevens with Avon Schools. Thanks for, I'm not sure if you're getting up early, but thanks for being with us this morning. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Jim O'Brien's here. I know, Jim, your kids obviously are older than that. I'm just curious.